I already knew these were going to be one of my favorites. Anything blue, gray, purple, you have me there. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I guess you can tell. Your girl's doing another contact review. These are just one of the seven pairs of contacts that I will be showing you guys today from the brand Anima Beauty. So if you want to see how I put these in, what my eyes look like before, which I'm sure you know already, and the other six pairs that I got, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I have seven pairs of contacts to try on for you guys today. So hopefully my eyes can make it through this. I think I'll be good, but we will see. So right now I just have my contact lenses in. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out, but I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about the brand. So the brand we are working with today is Anima, A-N-M-A Beauty. This is also a overseas brand. So these did take a while to get to me as far as shipping. I thought the package had actually gotten lost, but I did end up getting it and they reached out to me and asked me to try. They gave me the option of up to eight pairs. I picked eight, one is missing. I'm not sure what happened with that, but probably not a bad thing. So we're just gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna tell you guys, I have some that are yearly and then I also have some that are daily. I have found in the past that the daily ones don't feel as comfortable as the ones that last longer. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be the same with this brand or that's just something that is standard with dailies. I have never worn daily contacts, so maybe the thing. The first pair we are gonna try on are the Lolita Gray Blue. I will say these are a daily pair, so there are 10 that come in the pack. I will say that one thing I wish, I realize these are coming from overseas, but it is really hard to figure out which ones are which because the packaging is in a different language. So I had to like look at the color and then go back on the website and try to figure it out. But these have a base curve of 8.5 and then the diameter is 14.2 and these are prescriptions. So glad that I will be able to see when I put them in, but I'll insert a picture of what they look like. I do think if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to get this open, but I feel like these look a little different. It might be these are another pair of gray ones that I have. Um, that look a little different in the packaging as opposed to how they look on the website. Yeah, it's definitely these. It says that they're gray blue, but when I look at them in the packaging, they just look gray. I don't see any blue at all, which I'm not mad about it because I like gray as well, but blue's been tending to be my favorite when I do these. So that was the only disappointment. It was supposed to be gray around the edge and then blue on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. You see my brown eyes, and then we'll see what it looks like with one in. So that is one contact in. I do, I still don't see blue. I don't know, you guys tell me if you see it. I think they're gorgeous. I love, these are not, a very natural pair. They definitely look a little stark, but I think they're gorgeous. And I didn't want to do too much eyeshadow because I wanted to make sure you guys could see the color of the lens and not overpower it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in and let you see that one. All right, so this is it for the first pair. This is the Lolita Gray Blue. I mean, I guess I kind of see a little blue in them. It just looked a lot different in the pack. I didn't see it, but I like how these look. Anything with a little tint of blue, I absolutely love it. So of course you know I had to get a purple pair. Like, is that even a question? The next ones are called Hoshino Purple. These are a little different because they're purple, but they have a little bit of gray in them as well. So we're gonna see what these look like, but of course I was really excited about this pair. Yeah, it's almost like they have a crescent and then they have little stars in them. I'll put a picture up here for you guys to see, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one in. I am very curious at how these are gonna look in my eye. So I don't know if you guys can see at the top here, it almost kind of looks like 
it's like a gray and then it's purple at the bottom these are so unique different from anything else that i have and it's purple so of course i love it i'm gonna put the other one in and then i will come back with the final look yeah i can feel a complete difference with these as opposed to the dailies so this pair right here just to make sure i think these are yearlies let me make sure i tell you all the right information yeah these are yearly so these are supposed to last for a year once you open them completely different way more comfortable on my eyes feels like it sits perfectly yeah the base curve on these is 8.5 as well but the diameter is 14 so it makes a difference the other ones are still wearable but i can just tell off the bat putting these in they fit perfectly and I know these will be comfortable all day. But of course, they're also purple, so you know I love them. All right, so the next pair I have are called Exuberant Peach Pink. These I thought were gorgeous. If you look at the picture, they look kind of purple and brown, but you can tell there's a little bit of pink in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in. These are also a yearly pair. So that is what these look like. I, this does not look anything like it looks, <laughs> not to me anyway, on the website or in the picture. I think it's because blending with my brown eye kind of makes it more of like a goldish color. I don't know, but this is so different and just, I feel like it makes my eyes pop, but it's not too dramatic. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in. Yeah, I definitely think that this is one of my favorite natural pairs. I think the way these blend with my brown eyes makes it look a little more hazel as opposed to a peach pink, anything like that. I don't see any pink or anything, but I think it's gorgeous. So keep in mind, your eye color may change the color of the contacts a little bit, but either way, I think these are gorgeous. All right, so we have another gray pair. These are in the dailies, so preparing for them to fit a little different, but these are in the shade winter gray. So these have a darker gray rim on the outside and then it goes to a lighter gray on the inside. So I have a feeling these are gonna be really, really stark, but you know, sometimes you wanna go for that wow factor. So let me get one in so you guys can see what they look like. So there you have one. You know, these are not as stark as I thought they were gonna be. And I'm kind of here for it. You can see the gray in it, but again, the brown with my eye helps to kind of transform it a little bit. So let's see how it looks with both of them in. And there you have it. I feel like the gray with my brown almost makes these look a little green. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I really like these. It's almost like a kind of, I don't know. Again, this is another pair that I feel like look like they could be my natural eye color. And I think it's because of the ombre effect that these have as well. So if you're looking for something a little more natural, these will be a great pair for you. The next pair I have are the pair Starry Blue. These are blue on the outside with a little bit of a light brown on the inside. So they have a little ombre effect to those as well. I know I'm excited when I just jump straight into putting them in. I put them in inverted, go figure. These are dailies as well, so they will fit a little different, but y'all know this is right up my alley. They look a little gray because of the ombre, but you can see the blue on the outside. I love colors like this. It's stark, it's noticeable but the ombre makes it kind of blend so you're like hmm are those her eyes or not so i'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in and then show you both together i already knew these were gonna be one of my favorites anything blue gray purple you have me there i love green too but it's just i guess because these are so different so this pair again is called starry blue and yeah kind of looks like sky blue starry blue the name definitely fits all right, we got two more pairs left. I hope my lashes can hold on long enough to get through this. The first pair, these are gonna be a little different. These are a little bold. They are the pair Mystery Yellow, and these are like a stark yellow pair. So I got these because I wanted to do something 
a little different. I don't know that I was thinking about like with Halloween and all that stuff, but when I saw them, I was just like, you know what? Let's get something out the box and see if we're gonna like these. So I'm gonna pop this one in real quick and show you guys what she looks like. I mean, look at that picture. Like you can tell that is not your standard. It almost looks orange. Wow. These are also a yearly pair, so they are definitely more comfortable than the dailies, but huh, that does kind of look like cosplay-ish for what I'm normally used to, but I think they're beautiful. <laughs> wow. I feel like these look kind of freaky. I'm not even going to lie. I know a lot of people are into like super different, like bold, like whoa. This is almost kind of scary, but... It looks like tiger eye, caddish eye. I don't even know, not caddish, that's not a word, but you know what I mean, like feline. I'm not sure when I would wear these, but I think they would look awesome in pictures. This is definitely not an everyday natural pair, especially not for me, but if you're into these and you want something stark, this is one you need to pick up. All right, so we are gonna finish this video with a pair that's a little more toned down. I should have saved those for last. This is the pair in mojito green. I had to get a green pair, I could not, but I don't. These are definitely not gonna be as stark as the other pair. These are also a yearly pair, so thankfully they will be more comfortable. They do have a kind of dark edge around them and then it goes into the green, so that might make the center a little more stark, but let's see. Those are cute. This is back more towards the natural side, but it's still a nice little pop. Something to just kind of make you feel a little more dramatic, a little more mysterious. I like this color. It looks, it's not a stark green. It's almost like a, like a gray green. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the other one in. This is what they look like on the website. It does look a little more vibrant green, but again, with my brown eyes and it being a bit of an ombre, it kind of tones it down a little bit but I love it. And here you have it. This is the last pair of Mojito Green. These are staying in because I don't feel like taking anything else out of it right now, but they're also really cute and wearable. So I might keep them in for another video. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. Comment below and let me know which pair were your favorite. I'm sorry, but those mystery yellows, that was definitely something different. And those stole the show. So let me know what you think. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. I will see you in my next video. Bye.